even those parents coming in knowing at some gut level that their child has autism, to hear it I think is really difficult. We were in denial and a little bit angry and um, we're, I think, scared. When we came to Fraser, it, it was very comforting because it was um, an entire group of people who had so much experience with this and pretty much said, look, we're going to help you. This is going to be, this is going to be okay. So each child has an individual treatment plan that's going to guide their service. Well, we're looking at helping the kids with the communication, play, interaction. They have very individualized goals that we work on each day. I think the staff has done an exceptional job as far as tailoring a plan to Sahali's needs. I think families, we have to put them in the driver's seat. We really want that family to be there, the center, to talk with them about what are their hopes and dreams for their child. They say, you tell us about your child, and you tell us what, what you think they could benefit from. Now that Sahali is communicating so much better and learning to take control of her emotions, that, you know, that's less stressful on, on all of us. What I found at Fraser, what my family found at Fraser, was hope and peace and the tools that we needed. We've never gone to Fraser and left without a solution. Fraser saved our lives. Yeah. <laughs>